this is Gordon with another do-it-yourself video. This time I'm going to do some basic simple electric and what I have laid out right here is just about as simple as you can get of a light switch, light, and power source and it's already wired up. It works and uh, just for temporary purposes I have the power source just the other end of this wire here plugged in here. I don't have a plug to put on. It's hard to get a plug to go on Romax without stranded wire so I just put the uh, the ends of the wire in the outlet in their proper places and I'm not going to use the ground wires because this is just for demonstration purposes. This is not a circuit that's going to be used obviously. This is just for demonstration purposes so if I put the ground wires on it's just more complication and confusion in the way of the video so what we have is the hot wire is the black wire it goes in on this side of the outlet the neutral is the white wire it goes in on this side of the outlet and I've covered that on a another video when I did the porch light outside the in my chicken coop area so the hot wire comes here this is represents a junction box more than likely where the light bulb would be in a junction box so the hot wire comes out goes through the switch you cut the hot wire you don't cut the neutral you cut the hot wire which is the colored wire the black wire and then it comes back out it's going to be white coming out but it goes back here to the black wire going to the light and just like I covered on the other video that always goes to the brass colored screw on the light that is a brass colored screw. Here's another used one. You see this is a brass colored screw. That's where the hot goes. This one's silver. This is old and so it's not shiny anymore, but that is your colors. I think you can see that. And the, the brass colored screw is going to be right in the center. That goes to that wire goes to the center of this. And then the silver colored one goes to the outside here and it's important that you put it on that way because somebody may screw one of those screw in plugs instead of a light bulb to plug in a light or to plug something else in and they're they won't have any ground protection if they're doing something like that outside they might get shocked so you want to make sure that that hot wire goes on the brass colored screw and then the neutral goes on the silver colored screw and it comes back out here and it goes to your neutral and returns finishes the circuit so the light works and I'm not doing this video for this circuit it's just too simple I already did one like that the reason I'm doing this video today is to change this simple what we call a single pole switch to a what we call a three-way switch your single pole switch only has two wires two brass colored contacts on it and then your your ground and it also has an off and on position on the front of the switch your three ways do not have an off and on they're just smooth across here and on that side your three ways have two brass colored screws just like the single pole and it has a black screw the black one has a different purpose and I'm going to explain I'm going to explain what those are when I put them together. So I'm going to pause the video. I'm going to take this off and I'm going to pause the video and show how to set up a, how to take a single pole out and put a three-way light circuit in so that you can turn the lights off and on from here and from another location. What I've done now is I hooked up a piece of 312 with ground wire once again, for demonstration purposes only, we're not using the ground. That's just an emergency escape in case something goes wrong with the circuit. We don't need it for this. And what I, the reason I'm using 312 with ground is because it has the neutral is still the white wire and the black is still the hot, but there's another wire, the red one, is also a hot. And it doesn't matter which one you use, they're both hot, they're both uh, could be used in either place of each other. But they help you identify which one is which at the other end of a circuit. 
and in this particular case with these three-way switches they have two brass colored screws I'm going to try to get closer two brass colored screws one here then right across from it another one and those are what your two colored wires go to the red and the black and those are called travelers that's how you link the two switches together and then the white wire goes to the black that's the one that goes to the light and so we hook up the end of the circuit that switch gets all three wires on it like that it gets the the two colored ones on the two brass screws and then the white wire goes on the black screw and then on at the other end we do the same thing we get the two colored wires on the two brass screws the black screw is where I'm going to put my black wire from my original circuit on my single pole. I'll put my black wire here on this black screw and then I'll simply join these two white wires together and that'll complete my circuit for a three-way. And then later on after we do this then we'll show you how to do a four-way. That adds a third switch into the circuit to turn the light on and off from three different places. So we're just going to take this completely off First, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to unplug my power over here. There's my single pole. Taking this one off. Just straighten out my white wire. Put my black one over here on this black screw. Join my two white ones together. And now what we have is this switch breaks in two different ways. This switch doesn't have, neither one of these switches have an off position. It goes in and it either comes out this side or it comes out that side, one side or the other. It either goes to the black wire or the red wire. And it does the same thing on the other switch. So when it goes into one switch and it comes out the other one, either it's open or it's closed on this end. And if it's open, you close it by flipping the switch. It goes to the other wire, which is closed on this end. And so they go back and forth like that. And that's what this roll, this used wire, it's dirty. That's why, for demonstrational purposes, I'm not going to waste new wire. So I'm going to plug this in. And so now this should turn it off. This should turn it on. Back and forth, off and on. Either side you go. Doesn't matter which, which side you... One. So everybody's seen those work. Now, for the four-way, we're going to cut these traveler's wires. I'm going to strip this insulation back a little bit so I have room to cut these traveler's wires. These traveler wires, two of those on one side go on the brass screws, and the other side goes on the black screws. And it's a very simple circuit, and then you have four wires. And then you have three switches controlling the light from three different places. We have it all hooked up now. I got my four-way in. It's right here. 
on one side of the switch where the where the black screws are I cut my red and black wire and put those on the, on those and they really don't have to be the same side it doesn't matter as long as both of these are on this on on the black screws or the gold screws either one and both of these are on the other two screws and so now we have it back together and I'm plugged in so now we can play with our lights back and forth doesn't matter which way you go they all so there's your simple basic circuit for your three ways and I added all that in from where a standard single pole that you have in your doorway when you walk in a room that only has one switch that's the switch you have you can just take that switch out and put a three-way in and add and if you want to put six or eight or ten switches all you need is more four ways all along these travelers anywhere you have to have a three-way at the beginning and you have to have a three-way at the end and anywhere along the way you can cut that wire Put a junction box there and then add two pieces of uh, Romex, two pieces of 12-2 with ground coming down into your switch box and then put them both into your switch. Anywhere you want to do that, you can just tap into this wire, cut it in half, put it together and you'll have another switch. I hope that helps somebody. Thank you for watching.